Alright, so today's random thoughts. <clears throat> I want to first talk about Demi Moore. Hospitalized after allegedly suffering from a seizure from doing whippets. First of all, Demi, how old are you? How much plastic surgery? You look like Skeletor. Let's look at this picture of you. De Demi Moore's descent from the red carpet to rehab followed a scary seizure-like crisis brought on by a deadly down-market party drug. She was shaking and otherwise acting like she was suffering from a seizure. The raven-haired beauty, if you think man-jaw is beautiful, who hand whose handlers revealed is now seeking help in stress and exhaustion was doing whippets. I also read today um, on Perez Hilton that she was addicted to Red Bull. Like, seriously, crack cocaine addicted to Red Bull. Um, which I think is a bit silly. Um, you know... I mean, better than something she could be addicted to, but come on, let's really get real here. Also today, I want to talk about being crazy. So I have my friend here, Christine. Say hello. Hello. We're going to talk about how we found wonderful help through pharmaceuticals. And we're not talking about illegal drugs. We're talking about, like, crazy pills. I call them my brain candy. I call them my crazy medicine. See? And you can feel better, too. Do you ever have, you know, obsessive thoughts, um, anger, depression? All you really have to do, you don't even have to go to a psychiatrist. Most regular doctors will put you on some kind of antidepressant. Try the right one that works for you. Zoloft really works. Prozac worked great for me, and then I ended up needing to move on to something else, and Zoloft is great. Saved my life. What do you take? Vibrid and Zoloft. And how does it help you? It helps me. I'm a happy, happy person. And it's not fake happy. Like, I get a lot of people saying that, well, it makes you feel drugged or drowsy or fake. But what it does for me, at least, I don't know about for you, is that it slows down all the crazy thoughts so that I can think clearly and have a better life. Like, what it, it doesn't make you feel drugged or crazy. No, it makes me feel happy and I don't lash out and want to kill anybody anymore. That's a good thing, too, right? Yes, it is. I mean, when we think about it, that's really what we all want. Because nobody wants to go in jail for the rest of their life or get the death penalty for murdering someone. And what I like is that it isn't the drug making me happy. I have a chemical imbalance. It is balancing out the chemicals that are going crazy in my head so that I can be more happy. The pill doesn't make me happy. And I don't get this, you know, I'm happy because I have Zoloft. No, I'm happy because I can think and function more and rationalize things and not jump to conclusions. Did that ever become a problem for you? Yes, I did have a uh, chemical imbalance to the point where I would throw razor blades at my ex-boyfriend's head and butter knives at his Achilles tendon. Now I don't have those crazy thoughts to do anything like that instead of lashing out. I think about what is going on and come to the best conclusion. Most of it is just walk away. And that is some wonderful advice. I agree. When you can fully think about it and rationalize things in your head, that's when you start to get better. And the pills help you with that. Remember, the pill doesn't make you happy. You can be happy, but it can help slow down your crazy thoughts that are running out of control. So, besides that, we didn't really have a lot of fun stuff to talk about, but maybe that'll help someone out there. What I really want to do is hear from you about what you think about medication. Do you take it? Have people suggested it for you? Are you one of those Tom Cruise-like people that thinks because Xenu tells you not to take meds, you shouldn't? I want to know. So let me know. Peace out.